So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to Steam and then you want to click on your library. Then you want to find Call of Duty. You want to right click on it and then click on Properties and then click on Installed Files and then click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. If you use Battle.net, you want to go to Call of Duty and then click on the gear icon and then click on Scan and Repair. Now for the second step, you want to head over to Search and then type in Check for Updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on Check for Updates and do all the updates your computer may have. Now for the third step, you want to make sure that your graphics card drivers are fully up to date. So if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you want to download GeForce Experience and then click on the Drivers tab and then click on Check for Updates. Make sure that it's fully up to date. And if you have an AMD graphics card, you want to do the same thing but with your AMD software. If you're using GeForce Experience, you can click on Home and then you can find Call of Duty. You can click on Details and then you can click on the Spanner and then you can set this to Performance and then click on Apply. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in run, click on it. Then you want to type in percent temp percent and click on enter. Then you want to clear all these temporary files, so click on control A on your keyboard and then click on delete. And then click on continue. Now for the last step, you want to head over to Steam and then you want to right click on your game, click on properties and then click on installed files. And then click on browse. Then you want to find the duty.exe file, you want to right click on it and then click on properties and then click on the compatibility tab and then you want to make sure that disable full screen optimizations has been ticked and that run this program as administrator has also been ticked and then click on ok you have to do the same thing if you're using battle.net you have to get into your game files and then find the .exe file now once you complete all the steps in the video you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed